In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D pie chart design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created a, a platform here which looks like it's floating. And uh, when I click, it will show you the option here, the full pie chart. And then the usage percentage, you can put that number of percentage here and you can add some text here. Likewise, I have created a few more slides where I have added some, some gradient background uh, in the you can see here and then you can just change the different colors according to your own requirements and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the circle hollow just click it here shape outline make it no outline and the height and width i'm going to make it as four align center align middle again depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the height by dragging this small orange point then i'm going to add one more shape go to insert shapes again from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the block r just click it here again this also I'm going to make it as 4 and 4 now this color I'm going to choose and I'm going to use maybe some kind of a red color and this one I would like to use some kind of a green color and make sure that no outline is selected then exactly place it on this let me just zoom out zoom in a little bit and you can see here the width is not same so again drag this one again depending on how much you want you can just put it here you can see here if you want this much you can just edit this one and put it correctly okay or you can just with the help of this also you can align it okay so let me just make it somewhat i think yeah okay so once this is done what you can do is you can give a 3d shape so first of all i'm going to select this particular shape go to the effects under the 3d rotation select from the parallel this particular isometric top up just click it here then go to the 3d format and give the depth depending on the requirement so i'm just going to increase the depth you can see here I have increased the depth and then you can just change this lightings okay whichever way you want more darker or more you know color or whatever right the same thing which i'm going to do for this also now okay again for this i'm going to go to the 3d rotation and choose this particular option isometric top up and then increase the depth so this time i'm going to increase the depth more you can see here maybe 20 or 21 and then put it exactly on top of this you can see here just put it again depending on the requirement you can just rotate it and do it again if you want to rotate you cannot just simply rotate like this because it will not uh, align properly in that case you have to use this option to rotate it okay so once this is done once you have placed it correctly okay so let me just put it i think yeah this looks good and again make sure that this is align center align middle and again this also i'm going to bring it in the center all right and then i'm going to make one platform let me just zoom out to make a platform go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the diamond shape draw a diamond shape you can see here and then send this to back it looks something like this again if you want to adjust the height and the width you can just adjust it okay and for this also you can give some gradient fill colors okay so shape outline make it no outline here i'm going to give it more light colors you can see here again if you want blue color combination with darker blue or lighter blue it's up to you you can see here so any color combination you can choose and then you can just choose the the direction you want the gradient should come here okay so you can see here whichever direction but these colors are not matching because this is uh it's uh maybe it's mixing with the 
color of the background so you can just give any other color of your choice it's up to you, you can see here i've given different different color combinations okay so once this is done what you can do is you can duplicate this by pressing ctrl d to duplicate and give this a solid color and a black color then go to the effects increase the soft edges bring it here and send this to back so it gives an effect like it's kind of a floating okay and once this is done you can go to the text insert text box and you can just say example uh, visitors okay and then number of visitors for example i'm going to make it white open sans <coughs> sorry extra bold if you want increase the size and i'm going to put it here but this is not looking good in that case i'm going to give a 3d format for this text as well so one thing you can notice here when you do the shape format you have got two options shape options and text options so whenever you're working for the shapes you have to select the shape options if you're working for the text you have to select the text options so remember that so let me just go to the text options and again let me just go to the text effects and here i will go down 3d 3d rotation and whichever text you can see here i'm going to select the same thing the uh, the isometric top up and sorry let me just put it correctly here if you want you can increase the size also and press ctrl d and here for example i'm going to say that okay it is almost like 23000 uh visitors or visits happen on this particular website you can increase the size and put it in the center something like this all right and again if you like to add some more text you can go to the shapes select the line draw the line vertically and give the color as white or uh, maybe or blue or whatever if it is not visible just change the color and then you can add some detailed text add detail text here center align white font reduce the font size and you can just add it here like this all right so you can see here we have done this particular part and the last part is to do the animation to do the animation go to the animations tab enable the animation pane and i'm going to select the first one add animation more intense effects select the basic zoom and click ok so if you play it comes like this again if you want to make it fast you can choose that one then comes the second one for this also i'm going to make it either you can make it a wipe effect it's up to you for example i can make a wipe effect also you can see here and then this should happen after previous all right and then the text should come this should come again more entrance effects i can select basic zoom and i can just choose maybe from out it comes like this and this should happen after previous okay and the, this one i can make add animation more intense effects stretch click ok and effect options make it from bottom and this should happen after previous and then the text should come maybe fly in from top this should happen after previous so if i play you can see here it comes like this and the text comes like that so depending on the requirement you can reduce the size you can add a two or three different pie charts here